dear student assalamu alaikum hope that you all are trying to cope up the present situation dear students we cannot stop our time we cannot maintain the pace of time but we cannot help performing our main duty we have to fit with the changes of time because we all know the famous speech of charles darwin survival only for the fittest if we fail to be the fittest our existence of life will fall difficulty so we have to change our lifestyle to be the fittest for this chronology of changes we are now handling our class through online you are attending classes i think these activities will be much benefited for you dear students for those who do not know me i am mohammad monirud jamal monir assistant professor department of english norshindi government college norshindi dear students today i will teach you the most important topic of english grammar named narration after listening to this lecture i am sure you will be able to know what is narration types of narration direct narration indirect narration reporting verb reported speech basic rules of narration especially assertive sentence especially assertive and rules of assertive sentence rules of assertive sentence now dear students sara jara tina lina are best friends they decided to go shopping unfortunately sara fell ill so jara tina and lina went to uh, went for shopping and the reason of absence of sara sara is described by jara to tina and lina in the following way sara said to me i am ill so i cannot join you and this report this message is also reported to lina in the other way sara told me that she was ill so she could not join us what happened there dear here jara reported jara reported a message to tina and lina but in different two ways in two different ways so now go, i think you got the point this is the activities of reporting these activities is done by jara jara told this message to tina and lina uh, now we can say what is narration narration is the act of reporting so narration is the act of reporting this act is done by jara here and narration is also divided into two ways direct and indirect narration dear students so narration is the act of reporting of the words of the speaker and two ways of reporting there are two ways of reporting direct speech and indirect speech direct speech is a speech which is narrated without changing the words and the speech is enclosed with a quotation mark sara said to me i am ill i am ill is the speech of the main speaker and this speech is enclosed with a quotation mark that is also called inverted comma an indirect speech is a speech which is narrated in a transformed way that means indirect speech is a speech which is narrated by the narrator's own words by the narrator's own words here sara told me that she was ill she was ill means sara was ill and this speech is narrated by other so this is indirect speech in the direct speech there are two parts in the direct speech there are two parts in the direct speech there are two parts one is reporting close another is reported speech this is reported 
reporting close reporting close and this is reporting verb and i am in this is reported is speech reported speech reporting verb and reported close and this is inverted comma now i will discuss with you how the uh, direct speech can be changed into can be changed into indirect speech now we will see how direct speech can be changed into indirect speech before going to change direct speech to indirect speech you all have to be conscious with the six steps six steps if you have to perform these six steps these are identity dear student to change direct speech of assertive sentence into indirect speech you must be conscious about the following six steps identity you have to identify subject object reporting verb Uh, person first person second person third person and tense also then you have to start changing changing of verb replacing comma and inverted comma with that changing pronoun changing tense updating time and place these six things should be done by you if you want to change direct speech of assertive sentence into indirect one and now change how will you change reporting verb reporting verb can be changed in the following way say to dear students reporting verb will be transport in the following way say to will be changed into tell uh, say to into told said into said says to into tells and the pronoun you then you have to change pronoun if the pronoun belongs to first person this first person indicates the subject of reporting verb so sub first person will be changed according to the subject of reporting verb and second person will be changed according to the object of reporting verb third person will be changed will uh, no change third person will no change if you want to remember in a easy way then you have to remember acronym s o n that means first person subject s second person object o and third person no change that means n so s o n if you remember s o n then it will be easy for you to remember changing a pronoun then you have to replace comma and inverted comma that and you have to change tense if reporting verb is in the past tense and reported speech is not universal truth or habit please remember if reporting verb is in the past tense and reported speech is not in the habit or universal truth then tense will be changed in the following way so dear students again remember if re reporting verb is in the past tense and reported speech is not universal truth or habitual fact universal truth the condition is reporting verb must be past in past tense and reported speech will not be universal truth or habitual fact then the reported speech will be changed in the following way present indefinite tense will be changed into past indefinite tense present continuous tense will be changed into past continuous tense present perfect tense will be changed into past perfect tense present perfect continuous will be changed into past perfect continuous past indefinite will be changed into past perfect past continuous tense will be changed into past perfect continuous past perfect will be no change past perfect continuous will not change and if the sentence belongs to in such way that subject shall will may can must then these will be transformed into should would might could and had to this is about the change of a tense 
then you have to think about the change of time and place expression the time and the time and place of direct speech denote the nearness and they will be changed into such words which will denote the far the time and place expression will be changed in the following way this time expression will be that when this is used as adjective then this will be used as the these will be changed into those here will be changed they are now will be changed into then today will be changed into that day yesterday the previous day ago will be before coming to go that so last month the previous month tonight that night and this is way how you will change the nearness to far now we'll do some exercise for practice and i think you will be attentive in performing this exercise and this will be very helpful for you to be clear if any ambiguity ambiguity exist in this lecture so please see dear students now you will exercise sarah said i drink coffee every morning i think you all know what should be done first at first you have to identify subject object person tense so here subject is sara dear students here you i uh, please look at the sentence sara is subject said reporting verb i first person drink present indefinite tense now you have to identify subject here is subject here is subject you have to identify the person first person and tense past indefinite tense this is present indefinite tense now my condition to change tense Sarah said will no change. Said comma inverted comma will be replaced with that. That first person will be changed according to the subject of reporting verb. So I will be changed into Sarah. That means she. Drink is present indefinite tense. So it will be changed into past indefinite tense. Drank. And there will be no chance drank coffee every morning and now this sentence now he said to me I am playing the chase with you here subject now he said to reporting bar in the past tense past indefinite tense and I first person am playing present continuous tense you second person now the sentence will be changed in the way now with say to will be changed into told me comma inverted comma will be replaced with that now he told me that i first person will be changed according to now with so he am playing will be changed into was playing was playing the chase with you second person will be changed according to the object of reporting verb that means me so the sentence turned now he told me that he was playing the chase with me the sentence transforms into now he told me that he was playing the chase with me now the third sentence please look carefully the teacher said to the students the sun rises in the east here teacher subject said to reporting verb and it also past indefinite tense past indefinite tense the sun third person rises in the east present indefinite tense present indefinite tense according to the to 
our previous speech, we may change it. The teacher, the teacher told the student, told the students, comma inverted comma will be replaced with that. Told the student that now look, the sun rises in the east. This is universal truth. I have already told that if reporting verb is in the past tense remittance and reported speech will not be the universal truth or habitual fact, then the changes of tense will be considered. As the reported speech is universal truth, so you should not change it. You will write just it is the sun rises in the the sun rises in the east dear student now look at this sentence i quit my job a week ago he confessed to his wife i quit my job this is reported speech reporting verb confessed subject i first person quit past indefinite tense then ago will be transferred into before now the sentence will be transferred into he confessed to his wife dear student look at this sentence i just told you that you will change said to said said to but i didn't say to change you confessed and any other then said so this will not be changed he confessed to his wife but comma and inverted comma will be replaced with that he confessed to his wife that I will be changed according to the subject he. He. Quit belongs to past indefinite tense, so it will be transported into past perfect tense. He had quit. My first person will be changed according to the subject, so it will be his job a week ago means a week before. Away before he can now the sentence turns he confessed to his wife that he had quit his job a week before. Dear student, now look at another sentence. I have gone to cocktail by the five times already. He explained here. I also use explain that is not said to say or said so it will not be changed he explained explain will remain unchanged he explained but comma and inverted comma will be replaced with that i explained that he explained that i first person will be changed according to the subject so it will be he have gone is present perfect tense so it will be changed into past indefinite tense he had gone to cox's bazaar five times already so there will be no change he explained that he had gone to cox's bazaar five times already Dear student, the driving instructor said to the learner, you must obey the traffic rules. Here, subject driving instructor said to reporting verb, it is also past indefinite tense. Use second person, must obey the traffic rules. There is no indication of time and place so the sentence will be changed in the way the driving instructor said to will be changed into told 
the learners comma inverted comma replaced with that you second person will be changed according to the learner that means he but you may mention here l l indicates learner must may be kept must or you may also change had to obey the traffic rules but look at this sentence the traffic police say to the driver you mustn't park here you mustn't park here this is negative sentence you mustn't must may be changed into had to but mustn't never will never be changed so you have to keep it as it is so this sentence will turn into the traffic police the traffic police the traffic police say to will be changed into told the driver comma inverted comma will be replaced with that you second person will be replaced or changed according to the object driver he but you will mention here d he mustn't will not be changed park here will be changed into there so keep it in your mind that you should not change must not i want to now recap i think i'm sure you have learned narration what is narration what types of narration narration is the act of reporting something direct and indirect narration direct narration is a speech which is not changed indirect speech is a speech which is changed and who is delivered by the narrator's own word reporting verb reported speech and tense and you if you want to change direct speech into indirect speech then you have to follow six steps i think you all have learned these six steps again you may see six steps identity five subject object person and tense change reporting verb replace comma inverted comma with that change pronoun change tense update time and place in the reporting in the direct space time and place dear students i think you all have learned the six steps of changing direct space to indirect space if you can keep these six steps in your mind then you will be able to change direct narration into indirect narration especially for uh, the direct narration of assertive sentence and in the next video i think i will teach i will be able to teach you all four sentences okay stay safe and you will continue attending all classes taken by the teachers of Norsindi Government College. Hope for the best. Thank you. Thanks all.